Hello everybody, uh, trying something a little bit different today. We're uh, looking at a new game that uh, was suggested to me by a close personal friend. It is uh, Century Age of Ashes. Um, it's a PvP based uh, game, I believe it's arena based, uh, where you're basically using dragons for the main form of combat. So normally I'm not a PvP kind of guy, but seeing as it's uh, quite a unique idea uh, with dragons, I'm going to give it a try and let you see my first impressions. I've never played this before, uh, beyond getting to the title screen to make sure that the game was working. So everything you see here is completely fresh, I have no idea what I'm doing. So uh, let's get this uh, thing started and see what's going on. Uh, just seems to be loading up there after I've pressed any key. <laughs> Welcome to Century Age of Ashes. The dawn of the last age is upon us, Dragoneer. Ride your steed to battle, join the everlasting war between the Great Kingdoms and reap glory from the ashes of the old world. Before diving into the arena, we recommend you play the tutorial in order to familiarise yourself with your mount and its unique abilities. Okay, let's launch the tutorial. I'm currently using the uh, controller at the moment. So hopefully that's not going to create any issues. The majority of what I know about this game so far comes entirely from the uh, Steam store page. It was released uh, December 2nd I believe fully and it's due to come to consoles in uh, April next year I think it, uh, I think it mentioned. On this training ground you will be taught the basics of aerial warfare, hero guidance and you might one day rule the skies of the Age of Ashes. You are Marauder, a ruthless combatant specialised in big game hunting. Okay. What are we doing first? Uh, movement left stick. Okay. Alright, we need to hold it. Oop. Feels uh, quite sensitive, but I guess it needs to be for a game like this. Fly through the checkpoints, there's one down there. Let's get down there. And up to here. Really quite uh, impressive gra graphics uh, going on here. Reminds me a little bit of um, How to Train Your Dragon when you see the first flight scene. Now that arrow seems to be telling me, whoop, that's behind me. Turn around. So uh, let's fly through here. A little bit on the slow side, but I'm guessing there's probably a button to uh, make yourself sprint a bit. Ah, here we go, yep, RT to speed up. Right, there we go, I think that might be full speed. Right, slowing down, LT to brake, sharp turns are easy to take while braking, fair enough, so it's pretty standard uh, controls a lot of racing games use. Oops, bloody hell, don't want to slow down into that uh, cliff. <laughs> Right, so that's uh, that bit learnt. Stamina, fill up your stamina by flying over energy rifts. So, energy rifts are, looking at this video, those weird uh, turquoisey coloured uh, steam vents. And we've got four diamonds down there, I guess that's my uh, stamina bar. Where's these little steam thingies? Not seeing anywhere that any of them at the moment. Oh wait, there's uh, these little. Whoop! Bloody hell! A little bit of lag there. <laughs> right, uh, boosting. Tap RT twice and hold on the second tap to boost. Your stamina charge will be consumed. Be sure to hold RT for three seconds to get the most speed out of your boost. So tap it once and then hold on the second tap. Alright, resume. Ah, yes, this is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, and we just crashed an old one. <laughs> this is uh, very cool, I quite like that. I'm not uh, liking the graphical lag so much, although I am recording in uh, 1440p. So uh, maybe that's what's causing the lag. I don't have the strongest of graphics cards using a um, 1650 Super. Uh, pass through the air columns to benefit from a dramatic surge in altitude. Air columns also restore your stamina. 
So I guess that's uh, these things. Oh, bloody hell, yep, that uh, was quite nice. <laughs> we'll head for this one down here next, I guess. Way. Ah, yes, and uh, slowing down helps it turn faster, it definitely seems. I think they mentioned that earlier. Wind Blessings. Collecting a Wind Blessing grants you unlimited stamina for a short time, okay. Collect the Wind Blessings. So, over this way. Right, where are the rest of them? Uh, I'm not seeing any of us flying boost them to the... Oh, right. Flying boost. Right, so that's that uh, load. If you could tell me the next uh, stage game. Lock and fireballs. Align your sights with an enemy to lock them. When in range, your target's indicator will turn green, and you can shoot a fireball at them with A. Okay. So we'll, uh. Whoop, a little bit too much of a tight corner. Right, so, uh, want me to be A? Right, your health is represented by the bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. And enemy's health is represented by the circle around them. Pretty straightforward. So, yep, there's my health at the bottom left in the little boxer. And the enemy's health right there, and dead. Flame Breath. In close range, dragons use their Flame Breath to heavily damage a target. When golden brackets appear around your enemy's health circle, hold B to turn them into ashes. Be advised, your flame breath has a limited duration. Right, so we're looking for our uh, golden brackets. And B, once we get uh, close enough for that. Oops. <laughs> so, uh, oh, there we go. That's the full jump. <laughs> Right, that's him dealt with. Uh, press X to use your ability. Some abilities, such as your frost bolts, require locking before firing. Frost bolts impair your enemy's steering. Okay. So this enemy is uh, over here somewhere, apparently. Whoops. Still getting uh, the grips of these tight, tight uh, turnings. <laughs> right. Uh... So how do we actually get a lock on Is that considered a lock now, or is it when it's green that's considered as a lock? Uh, Alright, it's on cooldown, fair enough, just wait for that to uh, come off again. Alright, you want me to finish him off with uh, fireballs and flame breath. Fair play. There we go. Right, press Y to use your power. Some powers, such as your hunter's mark, require locking an enemy before firing. Once the enemy is marked, you can shoot faster fireballs at it with A. Okay. Uh, where is he? There he is, just up ahead. Uh, whoop, bloody hell, that was an uh, awfully tight turn by him. I can do that too. Whoop, bloody hell, as long as I don't crash. <laughs> right. That's the uh, build he used. And, uh, I should pray. Okay, fair enough. Oh, where, ah, where did he go? The tracker says they should be around here some... Oh, did he double back on himself? Oh no, he's not. He's up above me somewhere. What? Where the hell's he gone? I've lost him. Ah. Uh, wait, I see a little red trail off in the distance. There he is. Get some uh, fireballs heading his direction. Um, are we in 
range for. Oh, never mind. I was just about to say we in range to wear uh, flaming, but never mind. Rage mode is a temporary and powerful upgrade of your power. Whenever you endure health damage from enemies, your rage gauge fills up. Once it is full, press Y to enter rage mode. The Marauder's Rage Mode, called Hunter's Fury, applies your Hunter's Mark to all enemies. Eliminations extend its duration. Okay, that sounds pretty neat. I'm uh, looking forward to that. Uh, so whenever you endure damage from the enemies. Right. Enemies are behind me somewhere. Come back here. Oh, it seems to have disabled all my regular abilities for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, so, to an enemy, they use my ability. And a little bit of toast. <laughs> right. Turning a bit more. Let's flame him. Shield protects your health from incoming damage. Okay. So I'm guessing that's, uh, yep, that looks like the shield. Pretty straightforward stuff there. Dodging projectiles. A red indicator is displayed whenever a nearby projectile is locked onto you. It depicts the projectile's location relative to your character. You can dodge a projectile by boosting and taking sharp turns or by flying around obstacles. Okay. So that's uh, behind me, and see if uh, you can see this might take a bit of getting used to for me, especially seeing as I'm not the best at uh, PvP games by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, ah, bloody hell, I got hit by that one. <laughs> Let's see if we can oh, use it around that uh, rock. You now hold the keys that will unlock your Dragoneering potential. As a final assignment, eliminate this last enemy by making use of everything you were taught. Okay. Moment of truth time. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Can we... Whoop. Target lock on one from here. Yeah, I think we did, didn't we? Right, we'll come through here and do a little bit of a long turn to get back onto it. Get caught up in a little. There we go, and let's torch him. Where do you think they're going, buddy? Where's he gone? Oh, huge bit of lag there when the victory screen came up. Never mind. <laughs> tutorial completed. Uh, okay. Level one. We'll quit that tutorial. Congratulations! Having mastered the basics of aerial combat, you are finally ready to begin your dragoneering journey. Enter a free v free rookie battle to complete your training. Okay. So many uh, things to look at up here. Uh, oh, 6v6, I think that'll be quite nice. Uh, unranked, ranked uh, rookie mode, which uh, is the only thing we've got available at the moment, it seems. Uh, tutorial and free fight. few more guides to go through there at some point. Uh, classes Marauder. Free of any fealty to a kingdom or homeland, marauders are known as skilled poachers and ruthless bounty hunters. Using their mount's ability to track a living creature in any circumstances, they never give up on a prey. So, passive, relentless predator. Eliminations and assists fully rechar recharge your ability and power. Frostbolt releases free projectiles. Uh, oh, why did that change for? Let me read that, go back to the other one, so that you can see... Ah, right, here we go. 
Frost Bolts releases free projectile scores and high shield damage hits on unshielded enemies. Hits on unshielded enemies and something. And these messages are changing far too quickly for me to read them. <laughs> uh, hits on unshielded enemies limit, the, limit their steering for a short, short time. Gust. Okay, Hunter's Fury. All enemies become affected by your Hunter's Mark. Eliminations extend the effects duration. Uh, okay, we're not going to bother reading through the rest of those. I'm sure you can just pause the video and read through them in your own time. Because, uh, frankly, it's making for an uncomfortable recording experience when they're uh, disappearing too quickly. So the other class is the Windguard. Trained to defend the largest kingdom on the continent. The Windguard is the backbone of the Skeld Army, an order of night protectors. They use their mount's powers to defend their allies at all costs. Uh, while less affected by shockwaves and negative status effects, have a, have a shorter duration. So, uh, Salvation Surge, Temporary Shield, are you and your target? Okay. Uh, releases opaque poisonous trail behind your dragon, preventing opponents from targeting you. Uh, Exaltation Surge enhances your Salvation Surge. Turns your ally berserk for a short while and grants additional shield. No. Oh. Launches an exploding projectile, unleashes a shockwave upon pressing the ability button a second time or when climbing over the surface. Okay. And the Phantom. Uh, hailing from the east, Phantoms are said to be the sole heirs of the first Dragonier Orders. They ride mysterious spiked beasts able to escape or cause death at any time thanks to their ability to cloak within the skies. So, guard shot at you. Deal more damage to enemy shields. Uh, mines stick to the surfaces, uh, sticks to the surfaces and explodes when an enemy enters its trigger zone. Mystic Shroud makes your character invisible for a short while, releasing a more powerful fireball if you attack. The power is cancelled by damage. Okay. Launches an exploding projectile, unleashes a shockwave upon pressing the ability button a second time or one climb over the surface. Mortal Shroud makes your character invincible and un untargetable for a short time. Your fireballs deal more damage. So it basically seems to be uh, Phantom is damage, Windguard is healer support, and Marauder. Ah, uh, damage as well. But more of a direct damage rather than uh, the Phantom, which is more of a stealth damage. Uh, so what's this nest thing? No idea. Some sort of progression for something. And the shop. Oh god, hopefully it doesn't have uh, too much in the way of uh, microtransactions. Uh, I'm seeing two types of currency up there. The silver and red gems at the top right. Ugh. Uh, right, that's a bit of a put off. And the bestiary. The bestiary gives you an overview of the stories and locations of the dragon species you own and those you discovered. You may discover new species when a player with an unknown steed is showcased at the start or at the end of a match. You have to see the same species twice to complete a discovery. Okay. Oh, so uh, quite a few varieties. I'm wondering if this is uh, talking about skins, basically. Uh... Is there an initial origin? Uh, no idea, but it seems like it might be uh, different skins, yeah. We'll just uh, back out of there. It'll obviously be the same sort of thing with uh, the Wind Garden Phantom menus. And there's a list. Uh, so if I click on over... Oh, Alright, that's easy. So uh, I guess we can free look around them. See uh, how nice they look in game. <laughs> Uh, right, so let's back out of there. Would you let me back out, please? Okay, there we go. Uh, new classes coming soon. Uh, boosters, uh, experience boosters. Gems. What happens? Uh, already on this class. Okay, fair enough. So, I guess that means that they're going to be making classes purchasable. Seeing as it's under the store. So what is this stuff exactly? A unique Leviathan pack lifetime upgrade. What is it actually for? Not I'm intending on buying it, just trying to get an idea of what's going on here. All woven pack con cosmetic content. One excuse marauder, epic dragon egg, epic dragon, 21 gems, experience, rare shields, epic helmets, rare banners. Yeah, I don't think I'll be uh, 
by not any time soon. Although there is an epic free treasure gift. Might as well claim that. Small pile of iron coins you gathered amid your thrilling adventures as the Jarland TSA when discussing wealth. Many small streams feed the largest of rivers. Okay, 450 coins. That's probably worth absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things, I'll bet. Um... Right. Well, I think we've had a pretty good look through all of that stuff, so uh, let's have a quick beginner match as a uh, Ricky in a 3v3. So, uh, skirmish is unlocked at level 5. Okay. Uh, exclusive title. Celebrate the launch of Century with the exclusive title The Pioneer. Grab yours now. Initiation missions. Play as the Wind Guard one time, play as Marauder one time, and I didn't get a chance to read the rest of those uh, missions, which shouldn't be some sort of dailies. Daily quests, or perhaps weekly quests. Wait for this uh, load screen to get caught up. So there's three of us, and we're all level one. That's a uh, good start, so that we're not hopefully going to be uh, out uh, skilled. Uh, Alright, need to change our class here. I think we're just going to stick with the Marauder. I think that's who we were being asked to use during the tutorial. Uh, ability, Frostbolt, August. Uh, destroys all enemy fireballs. Look down, you make it. I think we'll go with uh, Frostbolt. Well, at least one of was uh, chosen a different class. Oh, has he? Has he backed out? Or was he just changing character? I wonder why is his poor rate gone blank? <laughs> oh well. He's still staying as the Phantom. <laughs> Let's uh, see how badly I do here. Oh, it's the exact same uh, class setup on the other team as well. <laughs> So yeah, he's completely uh, fresh. Zero wins, zero losses, no kills, no assists, no deaths. Or was that just for this particular match that it's uh, telling us? Controls available, fireball, and with A and flame breath with B. I'm pretty certain I can remember those ones. <laughs> Question is, how do I identify the enemy team? I'm guessing they're going to yeah, be red uh, people. Whoops, bit of uh, terrible steering on my part there. Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> At least it's got a fairly quick uh, respawn timer. Oops, hitting the wrong buttons here. set on fire. Ah, dead again. <laughs> uh, the other team seems to be doing pretty damn well, although, uh, as I said uh, earlier, I'm not the best at PvP games, so uh, yeah, it's probably that and a combination of uh, being such a new style of game. It's not like you can really compare it to an FPS game or something where you've got a little bit of uh, experience on most people will do. I suppose it could argue that, uh, oh, come on, why did that shield not pick up? I know I was only just glancing it, but I should have really been allowed to pick that up. <laughs> right, next round.
So uh, are we going to get more abilities unlocked this time? Uh, oh yes, uh, frost bolts. Right, let's try and get a shield early on. I think that might help us a bit. Oh, come on, somebody else nicked it. <laughs> and we're dying already. Oh, and let's boost straight into a wall. <laughs> uh, oh, couldn't quite clear that rock. <laughs> kill before uh, the end of the match. <laughs> I guess. Oh. Ah! Caught me just before I managed to make the corner. Right, let's get back in action again. Oh, hope oh, we won that one. Not with uh, any help from me. <laughs> New control activated. Hunter's mark with uh, the Y button. That was some uh, pretty terrible steering on my part, but never mind. <laughs> Get off me. Uh, where has everybody gone? Alright, so I must remember B is my flying breath, A is my regular shots, so X is the frost pulse, which is what I've been uh, wanting to try and uh, use this round. He's uh, hiding quite well here at the moment. I've hardly seen anybody apart from them attack me from behind. <laughs> Uh, I'm aware that I'm being uh, fairly quiet here in this uh, video because I'm trying to focus so much on uh, what's happening <laughs> so uh, I do apologize for that <laughs> right. Let's go for the shield on the left because somebody always nicks the one on the right first anyways 
Oh great, they've a team managed to nick the one first. Thank you very much. All I needed. Come on, where is he? Could this be my first kill, maybe? <laughs> ah! Ow, 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 that's not good. Oh, got a kill and an assist by another player, that's good. At least we're not going to be completely uh, helpless with zero kills in my first ever uh, match. <laughs> Where the heck is everybody gone? Uh... Come on, I'm sure he's just circling this tower to be a pain in the backside. Well, I oh, can't reach him. What the heck? How come I can't reach that high? below somewhere. Oh, uh, I got an assist there. Nice. Uh, where's everybody else? Uh, got a little target going on on him. Oh, did he already die before my ref hit my ticket? Why is my boost not working? Have I got no stunner, I guess? Ah, well, never mind. So it looks like we've uh, won this one. 3 <laughs> 1. <laughs> so, where. Uh, wait. Oh, right, I'm uh, on the far right. Yeah, I was going to say that's surely not my dragon at the uh, center there. I didn't do that well. <laughs> Wow, that uh, D7 guy seems to be uh, pretty damn good at the game. <laughs> Nine kills, wow. Um, let's see. XP. Newborn hunger. I'm guessing that was for playing as uh, the Marauder. I think it was playing as just then. Trial of Fire. What was that for? For playing three matches, I suppose? And a little XP level two. And we're getting coins, play right on, and profile items, and a few other things as we level up. And ooh, a new egg obtained. Yeah, you can equip a dragon egg, prove your worth by completing missions, and witness the growth of your hatchling into a full fledged adult dragon you can ride to battle. Successfully hatching an egg, it grants you a dragon. Okay. Uh, equip. Why are you not equipping? Oh wait, because it's uh, X on the uh, uh, Xbox controller and I'm using the PlayStation controller, so it's actually square. That's uh, what the issue was. Congratulations, your egg is ready to hatch. Go to the eggs menu to discover your new dragon. Uh, seems you're ready to rule the sky. Some game modes will be on as you play. Rookie mode will remain available until level 5 in the play tab. Afterward, it will be replaced by Skirmish. Okay. Uh, so let's see, where was the eggs? It wasn't under play. Is it nest? Uh, hatch. Your oh, egg has hatched. Hmm. Not a bad looking guy, I suppose. <laughs> Does that mean... Congratulations, you have now become the caretaker to your first dragon hatchling. Yet its frail figure and inexperience rules out any riding for now. To make it reach its potential, you will have to raise it by completing Growth Steps missions. Okay. So what's these uh, Growth Step missions? Dodge free fireballs. And then we get the rest of them unlocked later on. Okay. Remember that your eggs and hatchlings need you, a dragonier, to evolve. Visit the nest to check on them from time to time and see what they require. Okay, uh, let's have a quick look at that now. Nest. 
After witnessing your courage in battle, your hatchling is ready to progress to the next growth step. Complete enough growth steps so it can thrive into a potent steed. So, uh, oh, we can grow it straight away now, I guess. Dodging three fireballs. <laughs> Didn't think that I would have done that last match, but apparently I had. So, next one is to eliminate one enemy for to get that unlocked. Right, uh, let's have a quick look at these daily missions, see what sort of stuff you have. Uh, grant 50 shield points to allies using the Wind Guards Salvation Surge. Weekly missions, whoop, that scrolls very fast. Uh, stash total of a thousand gold coins in your team's coffers in Spars of War. I haven't played that much time yet. Eliminate one enemy with the Drake Piercer in Carnage. Eliminate 15 enemies as a wind guard. Reach the podium one time in any game mode. <laughs> That's probably not going to happen for me. Uh, Bloat the enemy coffers with the Vault Breacher one time in Spoils of War. Uh, reach the fifth bounty level one time in Carnage. So a couple of other different matches beyond the... Um, beyond the... What's, what's the words? I'm not for words. So there's a couple of different game modes beyond the... Uh, rookie matches, the training matches as it were, but uh, we're going to leave those for another video potentially. Um, but I've got a feeling I might continue this game in my free time uh, going forwards. So I hope you enjoyed this game. This was uh, Century Age of Ashes. It is currently free to play on the Steam Store. Uh, coming to console in April next year. And it might not be here for everyone because of course it's got microtransactions which let's face it, nobody wants or likes but the gameplay might uh, outweigh that, you can only see as time goes forward. So anyways, we'll see you guys next time.